Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm bringing you the latest transfer news from the DSTV Premiership. I'm bringing you the latest on the situation of Caleb Bemeimana, Surprise Ralani, Chofa Jumabasa and more. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. Now first story I want to react to is that of Caleb Bimenyimana. Now there's been new developments in the situation of Caleb Bimenyimana even though we've had Malifenseki saying he's going to be using Caleb Bimenyimana in the 2023-2024 season. It looks like Caleb Bimenyimana may yet be leaving KZ Uh The current developments in the situation of Caleb Bimenyimana is that his uh, former head coach at Burundi national team is advising the player to move on from KZ if he does not have guarantees of playing first team football. And at the moment Caleb Bimenyimana does not have guarantees of playing first team football he only has a guarantee of being given a chance so uh, the uh, former Burundi national team head coach has told Caleb Bemimana that he needs to move on from cases if the cases indeed do not want to use him so currently Caleb Bemimana has made a decision and he has changed his agent now this is a very very huge development in the situation of Caleb Bemimana now Caleb Bemimana is uh, was represented by a family member before a family member who was not named now in his failed move to uh, Wirat Kaza Blanca, Caleb Bemimana was represented by a family member now he is unhappy with the representation there and now he has changed his agent he is with an, a former national first division player who works with him as his new agent now this is the current situation and also with uh, the former NFT player there is a move uh, for Caleb Bemimana in the cards now Caleb Bemimana is now being linked with a move to APR who have made contact and are keen to make him the highest paid player in Rwanda uh, Premier League so in the Rwanda Premier League Caleb Bemimana may become the best paid player if he moves. Now this is the current situation. Now the salary it though is reported to be slightly lower than what is currently earning at Casey's but he is guaranteed game time playing in familiar territory as well having previously uh, been playing with Ryan Sports also from Rwanda. So this is the current situation with Caleb Bemimana. He has changed his agent as he's looking for a way out of Casey's. The one thing is clear, Caleb Bemimana does not want to become a free agent, so he will not be negotiating with KCF over a termination of contract. You know, KCF have tried this before and it failed, so Caleb Bemimana does not want to become a free agent. He feels like he has been a free agent before he joined KCF, so right now he wants to be with a club and if he's going to leave KCF, it's going to be to another club and not to become a free agent. So that is the current situation. Uh, Caleb Bemimana has changed his agent. Now, give me your thoughts on that. Do you feel Caleb Bemimana should leave KCF or do you think they should? I uh, retain him now. He's changed his agent as he's looking for a way out of Marcos right now. Now, still at Kizivs, I want to talk about Riv Frosler. Now, Riv Frosler is one hell of a loyal player. Now, what happened in the situation of Riv Frosler? Now, this is just came in came in from Itisky Times. They are saying uh, F, a football club FCSB wanted to sign Riv Frosler as well uh, with Angezana, but Riv Frosler decided no, he's going to remain at Amakus. Now, this is what Riv Frosler said. He said, I think between all parties, we agreed that I rather focus on where I am right now. This is the current situation of Riv Frosler. He had a proposed move to Europe and he said no. He and his agent, as along with KCF decided that the best uh, thing for Refrosa to do at the moment is to remain at Amakosi. So this is very, very good news for uh, KCF. No, Refrosa is a very important player for them and he's going to remain at Amakosi even though he had a lot of interest from Europe. Now, foot club, football club FCSB only managed to sign Gezana but with Refrosa, KCF said no. Now, that is uh, the current developments. I don't know if you guys knew about this proposed move to Europe for Refrosa but for me, it's the first time I'm hearing about it. It said, he said no. No, very very good news for Amakos. Now moving on, I want to talk about Spongsen in Tetua. Like I mentioned yesterday, Spongsen in Tetua is going to remain at Stellenbosch FC for the 2023-2024 season because he said no to Amazulu. He's seeing Amazulu project similar to that of Stellenbosch FC, so he does not want to move around circles. He wants to take a step up in his career. So if there's no bigger team coming for his services, he's going to remain at Stellenbosch FC. Now Amazulu have had the message and they've now invited Pumlani um as uh, for an assessment ahead of the next season as they are looking for a central defensive midfielder but as uh, Pungsenim Tetua has made it clear he's not going to be that man so let's wait and see what is going to happen on the situation of Pumlani Mjangasi he's been looked at by the Amazulu, Amazulu technical staff and they will make a decision on him in the coming few days and weeks so uh, Pumlani Mjangasi an option that Amazulu have identified after losing out on Pungsenim Tetua
Now, as we continue, I want to talk about surprise Ralani. Now, the 35 year old is still a free agent after leaving Mamelodi Sundowns at the end of his contract. Now, we know there was a lot of links between surprise Ralani and KZ Chiefs. Now, this is true. There were talks between KZ Chiefs and surprise Ralani's representatives. Now, a deal was close to being agreed before KZ Chiefs decided to pause all talks and focus on their head coaching situation. Now, they asked Molifenseki on his opinion on surprise Ralani and Molifenseki. He's saying he does not feel like signing a 35 year old is going to work for him because Malifense, case we know he's a developer of youngsters, he wants to work with youngsters, he does not want to work with too many older players. So, surprise around his move to Casey's looks like it is not going to happen. We know it was very, very close now before Casey decided to appoint Malifense as a head coach, but now that Malifense is the head coach, he said no to surprise Alani. That move looks like it's not going to happen unless something else happens. Now, we know Casey's are looking to sign also. Uh, surprise Alani's son, Emil Whitboy. Emil Whitboy, we know he's one of the hottest prospects now in the market and he's available now. Memo Lewis are also looking at the young magician, but Casey's may uh, have a trick up their sleeve. Now, if they sign surprise Alani, we may see Emil Whitboy following him to Amakosi. So let's wait and see in the coming few weeks and days. There's been a lot of speculation in the media about surprise Alani and Emil Whitboy, especially when it comes to Emil Whitboy. The young star has also impressed Manchester United from England. Now, let's wait and see. Uh, where Emil Whitboy will end up, but he's a very, very exciting young player. Uh, just 16 years old, surprise around his son. I'm, I'm not sure if you've heard about him. If you haven't, you can talk, go on YouTube and check some of his videos. He's a very, very exciting young star and he's playing for South Africa under 16. Now, the first under 16 team for uh, South Africa as well. So, Emil Whitboy to Casey is a possibility, but that may come with surprise around his joining Amakosi as well. Now, the next player I have an update on is Chofacho Mabasa. Now, Chofacho Mabasa, it is looking likely that he's going to end up at Amazulu or remain at Orlando Pirates because Morocco Solos have taken themselves out of the race to sign Chofacho Mabasa. They said, the chairman said he's not going to be dragged into a transfer saga or a bidding war. So, for Chofacho Mabasa, he looks likely to join Amazulu and also still talking about Amazulu. Now, Gabadino Mango. The, uh, his agent Mike Macab has offered Gabadino Mango to Morocco Solos. We know there is a good relationship also between Morocco Solos and Gabadino and uh, Mike Macab. We have seen them as snatch um, Antile Jali, who was also one of the most uh, uh, sought after talents in the market and uh, on a free transfer. So, right now, Mike Macab has offered uh, um, Gabadino Mango to Morocco Solos. Let's wait and see what is going to happen in that situation. A decision will be made by Morocco Solos in the coming few days because we know Gabadino Mango is not a part of the plans of the new head coach at Amazon. So that is the current situation. Chofat Mabasa may end up going to Amazulu and Kabadino Mango ending up going to Morocco Solos in the coming few days. Now, I want to talk about complete deals. Now, this is coming in from Idisca Times. Now, Golden Arrows have announced the signing of goalkeeper Ismaili Watenga from Mamelodi Sundowns and former Amatax midfielder Ntlantla Zwani. Now, two signings complete for Golden Arrows as they are preparing for the 2023-2024 season. 